<laughs> okay, everyone. Sportsman A card back here again. Hey, just going to celebrate Jeff Bagwell's induction into the Hall of Fame again. I'm going to showcase uh, some of my uh, favorite cards from my collection of his. Uh, I probably have over a thousand Bagwell cards between, uh, you know, base, insert, um, rookie cards, memorabilia, autographs. Uh, so all his commons I have in a binder. Um, and then I have a uh, three three row box of uh, his inserts, rookie cards, memorabilia, autos, and another box. So I'm probably close to a thousand. So this is just a few of my favorites. It's this SPX winning materials. It's got a piece of uh, Bagwell jersey, Frank Thomas jersey, Carlos Delgado. So two Hall of Famers on this card. Delgado's borderline, in my opinion, he should be a Hall of Famer. <clears throat> this uh, piece of the game from playoff team connections Craig Biggio, Jeff Bagwell of course Biggio went in the Hall of Fame a few years back and then uh, Bagwell this year so it's really good to have two Houston guys go in this one is numbered uh, 17 of 50 those were actually uh, pieces of their pants so Pants aren't as common as the uh, jerseys, so I don't believe this one was numbered. No. This one's real neat. This is a uh, actually a, a benchmark card. This is a um, he hit a home run that traveled 456 feet to upper deck on September 5th, 1991. This is from Donner's Classics. Um, 2000, it's authentic game use stadium bench from Three River Stadium in Old Pittsburgh. Yep, Three River Stadium. So cool card. We used to have a whole bunch of these of a whole bunch of different players. Uh, sold a lot of them. This is one of the first um, relic cards that was released back in the day. This is a, a Game of Use Souvenir glove card. This came from MVP, Upper Deck MVP, uh, 2000. Yeah, 2000. So, pretty much when they first started putting out relic cards. This one's a little different too. It's a game used baseball. It's also from um, looking for the date, uh, two thousand. Yeah, a lot of these are from the two thousands. This one is real cool. It's a uh, piece of a baseball it's got the threads in it so I just thought that was kind of cool it's from uh, number 12 to 100 the enclosed piece of baseball was cut from an authentic baseball used in game two of the 2001 Major League Baseball NLDS featuring the Astros and Braves so pretty cool This is a Pros and Prospects Dual Bat Game Use, Jeff Bagwell, Frank Thomas. It's not numbered. Tools of the Trade and Playoff Absolute. A piece of his pants, gray pants, white pants, piece of his bat. It's numbered 121 of 175. This is the, uh, I've got probably another 50 relic cards, just uh, like I was just showing a few off. So this one is a throwback threads. Yes, on the front, that's Lance Berkman. But look at this swatch. It's a really cool swatch. It's from Donner's Elite. 
Um, I don't know, 2000, 2000, yeah, 2000, let's see. 2003. So yes, that's land sparkling on the front. Um, then we flip it over on the back. It's a real nice bagwell patch. This is numbered 80 of 125. It's a real nice patch. I like that a lot. Alright, uh, I have a couple of his autographs. This one's kind of hard to see. This is actually uh, from SP Authentic. It's numbered down here to 589. These are buybacks. Um, they were inserted into some SP packs year later, years later. So I, I didn't pull this. I purchased it many, many years ago. Not the best uh, card for an autograph. Kind of hard to see. I had more autographs of his. I got this magazine right here. You can see I've got baseballs, mag other magazines. I like this one. This is a in-person autograph I got when he was playing uh, in the Astrodome. Me and my wife used to go to the Astrodome and stand out for hours upon hours getting the Astros autographs back in the late 90s, early 2000s. So. <clears throat> All right. I was supposed to do those last, save the best for last, but uh, I messed up my order. So here's some inserts, cool inserts. Nice hollow foil. These I always like these a lot. I know a lot of these aren't worth a whole bunch, but I'm not worried about value. It's just what I collect, what I like. These are real cool, these thunder claps. A lot of these are hard to appreciate on the camera, but in person, they're really neat. Really love these Lords of the Diamonds. Those are some nice cards. Alright, last but not least, I got a stack of his rookie cards. We got a uh, minor league rookie card right here when he was with the Red Sox. Probably the greatest trade in Astro history. Um, trading Larry Anderson to the Red Sox for Jeff Bagwell. Another minor league card from Pro Cards. A third minor league card. Leaf, 1990, these are all 1991 cards, 1991 Leaf Rookie, gold. Ninety one Studio Rookie. Like two of those, probably more, but 91 Ultra. That's a rookie. This is from the update set. There's also an update card from FLIR. Stadium Club. It's one of his neater cards. As far as the rookies go, leaning on a diving board, a swimming pole. Same picture zoomed in on. This is uh, his Bowman rookie card. Uh, score rookie. His upper deck. Previous video I uh, showed this card off. I've got about 130 of these. Um, don't don't remember how I came across 130, but got a, some of them in a snap case, like a hundred of them. So. All right, and last two are graded. This is a uh, this is his Donruss the rookies Jim Mint ten. And then last one of his upper decks graded a mint nine. So 
right, guys, that's it. Congratulations, Jeff Bagels in the Hall of Fame. Y'all have a great day.